Oh, shit. I know what you guys are thinking. And no, this isn't my truck. Looks just like it though, eh? See, look. There's no back seat. No back seat in here. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. You guys can probably see it down below in the thumbnail and title. It is Minnesota opener today. I am super pumped, y'all. I've been just dying to get on some more walleyes. Last time I fished walleyes was when we were back at the old Rainy River, like two and a half, three weeks ago. To kick this thing off today, we got myself, we're gonna be hopping into my cousin in Beretti's mile, boat. Turn left onto well, State and Highway. I think Marshall Outdoors is gonna be joining us also. Yeah, we're gonna keep this nice and quick. We just gotta make one stop, do a gas station, and then we got like a 20 minute drive. crush some walleyes and the weather is kind of crappy by the way super windy wet Stay tuned. First fish of the day, y'all. Not the right species. But hey, we got one. That's a bass. I don't know, it's my pike, it's coming right at me. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. First bass of the year. Let's go. It's a green one. I'll take the green one. That was right in the weeds. Am I gonna fucking bite them fucking around with my boat or Oh wow, took a dive on me there, bud. <laughs> I was gonna go for him, but I really freaked out. Oh my god, is that Good a perfect eater? Is that a perfect eater? Alright, and so it begins. First one of the night, fellas and and, <laughs> and girls. And we're back. Did we get some girls on the channel? Huh? Got any furries yet? Got any furries yet? Is that what you said? Is that a new thing you're into? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah? Alright, get your shit together. Dude, shut up. Just got a nice one, y'all. 21 inch or Nick, eh? Yeah, that's what I was guessing. It's a stud. It's an old root for sure. Like, throw him back? Yeah, right. Are we keeping it? Are we keeping it? I don't know. I can get one over, so. That's a perfect eater. Give it to me 
ground because it is windy out but my goal here is to catch four crappies i need four crappies for a catch and cook i don't know if you guys seen the last catch and cook i did but i need to redeem myself it was just terrible so yeah try to catch four crappies i think we can make it happen all right first things first we need to get ourselves a bait to use and obviously I'm going to be starting out with a fishing more minnow. I think I'm going to go with this bluegill color. Really quick too, y'all. These suckers are back in stock on the Euro Tackle site. They've been out of stock for a couple months now, so you guys are probably going to be pretty pumped. I will uh, go ahead and leave a link down below in my description. I'll also leave a link down in the comments. Go cop some before they are gone because, just like always, y'all, I'm sure they're not going to last very long. You guys are just crazy. And keep buying them up. Ooh, 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 look at that sucker. That's about to catch. Any nibbles yet? Yeah, that's good, huh? yeah? yeah? Ho, 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 ho. He's got a spring bobber. Right off the bat, y'all, we are going to slap on a spring bobber because there is coon's tails everywhere. I just keep getting snagged. Oh, I got one. Yeah, a yeah. nice one. <laughs> huh? Dang, well, maybe they're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. First one of the day, and it's a slab. Yeah. Spot lock. Yeah. <laughs> you need the plug in here and stuff? Uh, oh, it's in. No, yeah, just turn it on. Talking about how we don't think they're in here, and bam. Yeah. Freaking slab. Got one too. Really? Yep, they're right here. Scrappy. Nice. I don't use nets on crappies. You want me to get it ready for you though, since you got a broken foot? Hey, everyone's wondering about your broken foot. That's what's wrong with it, y'all. He broke his foot. <laughs> oh, slappy. Yeah, I just had one too. Oh, no. Good? 
nice. Crappy. I just missed one in that same spot, too. Oh, ho, ho. there's one. Just need three more. Yours is bigger. Dang it. This is huge. And that's number two. That's number two. Did we just double up? Pretty much. Move your foot for a second. Thank you. Oh, what was that? I broke my rod. <laughs> Why did you do that? I think I did break it. Did you? Yeah, I did. No way. How'd you do that? Oh, no way, dude. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, why would I do it? I wanted to. I didn't like God, it. God, you're not whistling diesel, dude. You can't afford that shit. <laughs> Damn it. That sucks ass, dude. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Wow. Shut up. Really? Look at that freaking lunker on the left hand it's spinning real. Let's go! Freaking broke my rod. I'm sure you guys seen. Alright, watch this. Swing! Fish on. <laughs> Dude, chatterbait in the springtime. Let's say goodnight. Dude, this is a tank again. That was instantly. I know, I'll grab a spinning rod. Let's beat the brakes off these bricks. That was a weed, I think. That's fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just surfer, man. I love bass. Okay, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Being a dork or what? Welcome back, yo! We are just leaving my mom's house. But we are on our way back to the old Fishmore headquarters. We got Kevin, we got four crappies. I only kept two crappies, and my brother only kept two crappies. The bite was honestly pretty tough. We did catch a lot of crappies, but a lot of little ones, and we did catch a lot of bass, too. That was really fun. That's my first time catching bass this year, so it felt pretty awesome to lay in and do so. Anyways, stay tuned. We are on our way back to the Fishmore headquarters. We're gonna cook up some crappies. I'm pumped and starving. Where's my dog? What are you doing back there? No, you stay. Stay. Are you doing okay, Kev? Why are you sitting back there? Here, look, look. Go down the window. Go down the window for you. There you go. Oh my lantern. 
There's a bunch of turkeys down here and I have a turkey tag. What? what? Dude, these are right by my house. Look at these big old toms. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, we got the decoy in the yard. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but they are they're pretty horned up. You see, I got the decoy All right. Oh, my lantern. <laughs> oh. Well, now we wait. I ain't gonna just sit here going ham. Hopefully they'll come right up the road. Welcome back, yo! We got our cleaning station set up right here on my deck. Yeah, I'm gonna rip through these crappies real quick. I'm actually cleaning these outside so that I can listen for these turkeys because they usually like to cross over my field right here. And like I mentioned on the way back, I have a turkey tag right now, so. Yeah, one comes in my yard. I got the shotgun right, right outside the door here. You never know, might be having a turkey catch and cook along with the fish catch and cook. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm just gonna rip through these crappies really quick here. Yeah. All right, y'all, we got them fish all cleaned and I went ahead and got them all cut up. And I grabbed ourselves just some regular Cajun batter. Next, we're going to need to get some grease going. Unfortunately, we're using Crisco today because the store I went to, that's all they had. But, we're gonna use ourselves a camping pot. Go ahead and get this cracked open. And I'm just gonna fill this up to uh, what right there? Before I flay up these fish, I'm going to hit it with a little Traeger fin and feather. Get this all over that fish. And I'm feeling a little frisky today. Let's add a little crushed red pepper on top of it. Bam. All right, next, grab ourselves our Cajun. Just slam half of these in here. Close it up. Shake, 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 shake. I think for the fish, I think I'm gonna get a little crazy with it. Cause I believe I have some lettuce that looks edible, maybe. Get one of these, yeah boy. Pickles. I think we're gonna be ripping ourselves a fish sandwich today. Haven't had one of those in a long time. Sounds so good. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh yeah. I think that's pretty well good to go. Ah. I'm gonna crank her up a little bit. an onion bun right there grab ourselves a little bit of butter get some butter on you I live alone now so stuff like that. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and say first batch is just about done. That first one we put in there was definitely done. These ones could go for just a little bit. Look at that though. Whoo! It's hot, but it's looking good. Second batch going in the grease those ones smell insane 
like insane, insane. Whew! Forgot about that a little bit. Looks perfect though. Get a little butter on there. Yeah. Quick taste test for the fish. Bomb. All right, stay tuned, y'all. This is gonna be done in, I don't know, two minutes. We about to crush. Second batch. I don't need to be on anymore. Second batch. It's all done and looking bomb, too. First off, we're gonna grab ourselves some fish. Let's try to find the ones we cooked first so they're not too hot. Bam, bam. Just gonna stack our fish all over this sucker. Bam. Next, grab ourselves a slice of cheese. I'm just gonna slap this on here and I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for like seven seconds. Like literally, just once that cheese starts bending around the fish, yes. if you do it too long, it's gonna make the bread all moist and the fish too. Next, we're gonna grab ourselves a little bit of lettuce. Just soft that on, maybe a little bit more. Next, we got ourselves some bread and butter pickles. These are the best. Honestly, I wish they were spicy ones, but this will do. Yeah, just grab a couple of these. Next, we need some mayo. Once again, I'd rather tartar sauce, but mayo's all we got, and that's all right with mayo. And bam! Look at that! Fish sandwich! I might as well, too, just go ahead and grab a bunch of these. Yeah. Give the hands a little pants pat. Shabang. We boat to feast. All right, y'all. First bite of the sandwich. Get a look at that, y'all. Mm, my mouth is watering. Dude. That onion bun. <laughs> the onion bun and then pickles. This might be the best fish sandwich I think I've ever had. Get a look at that sucker. <laughs> Just the fish itself, too. Crispy. And bomb. All right. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to crush this. I'm talking a little bit. We are in a meat coma, y'all. Or a crappie coma. No fooling, y'all. Next time y'all are going to make a fish sandwich, get some onion buns. Huh, Kev? Onion buns are bussin', and that was the first time I've ever done that. But anyways, y'all, really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a ton of fun making it today, and actually yesterday. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some more videos. Everybody go check out the Fish and More Menno. I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna be linking it down below in my description. And it'll be down in the comments, too. If you guys want to check it out, I highly recommend acting quick, because you guys know they usually don't last long on the website. Yeah. Without no further ado, I think me and Kevin are about to hang out, watch some YouTube. And yeah, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace out. We'll see you next time.